Yeah. People that hurts. It's nothing. All this pleasure, all these riches and everything are nothing. The Bible says in Psalm 37, a little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. I'd rather be as poor as Job's turkey and know Christ than to be the richest man in the whole world without Christ. Liar. Guess how much Billy Graham is worth. When did he die? 21st of February 2018. Around the time I woke up. Looks loving, doesn't he? Evangelist died Wednesday at 99 years old. No accidents or mistakes there. Graham built evangelism to a level that rivaled liberal, Protestant, whatever, Roman, bloody Catholics in America. And he preached to more than 210 million people in 185 countries and territories around the world. But was he the world's richest evangelist? His approximate net worth was 25 million. Given today's world of tele evangelism, Graham had some mighty competition. Celebrity Nerf Networth.com reports preachers it was worth approximately 25 million. That's quite a large figure to be sure, but it's only enough for Graham to place him sixth on the list of America's richest pastors. Where's your discernment, church? Where's your discernment? And I'm not judging because I went and tried to pick up his fishing net when I was a new Christian. But it's only enough for Graham. Ahead of Graham are Creflo Dollar, Joel Oldstein, Benny Hinn, who is in a pit with his arms up and the Lord said, not yet. He's going to turn up. The Lord wouldn't say not yet if he wasn't going to help him out. Pat Robinson, ridiculous man. Kenneth Copeland, a serpent who operates in the serpent spirit on a campus near Fort Worth that reportedly includes private airship for Kenneth. We've all seen his eyes. Anyway, um, I don't want to I don't, it's God's spell. I don't want to throw him under the bus, really, because I don't know where he's at. But he's basically a... This is a comment. What's the chances of seeing this? While well, I'm listening to Billy trying to remember the bit where the Lord... I was asleep and I heard him say turkey. As an evangelical Christian myself, I believe the unflinching support the church has given to Trump and the Republicans will be its end. It is. You cannot lead people to Christ if you are a hypocrite. You cannot say character matters and support people who have no character. You cannot call yourself pro-life if you are only da abortion. You cannot say you are a follower of Christ and ignore everything Christ taught us until evangelicals face their hypocrisy and change the church is dead. Good message. Did you hear that message? The Lord woke me up and he gave me a word about the Chinese too. Before the virus even hit us. Just trying to remember the word. I had to look it up in definition. It was, um, infanticide. Infanticide. <clears throat> I mean, how many people know that word? Infanticide. Well, I certainly don't. It's the murder of children. <clears throat> and I think he's including the fact that they killed all the boy, all the girls. People should have stood up for themselves because now they're under a curse. There is no excuse just because the government tells you. You're called to follow Christ. And I'm going to finish with the puppies. Oh. 
Oh, because this is the best thing at the moment. Hello. No bro has a home. Bye bye, no bro. And who are you? You're not going to go on the camera. You're going to stay with me. Oh, look at that. Look at her. She's feisty. You're going to stay with me. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to stay with me? Fire's not going to like it. Oh, and you, this one here. This one here. Hello, 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 hello. Look at the little face. You got. Oh, she's got a home as well. Oh, it's two socks. Two socks. Mm. I'm, I'm going to say goodbye to them. I can do that. Mm. The Lord bless me with this little thing. Yes, the Lord bless me. I'm going to get you. I just need a babysitter. Hello. Hello, here's Glory. Look. Look at that. Go on. Go check them out. Give them some milk. Oh, hello. Hello. Did you know my sister always had money? She bought me this. See this dress here? This cost $130 in Melbourne. She paid for me to fly to Melbourne. She had tickets. And I went to see my little brother, Scotty. And we went into the centre of, of Melbourne, into the very rich area, where you have to press a buzzer to go into the shops. Never had I seen such a thing. And they look at your face and decide whether they'll let you in. And she bought me this skirt. <clears throat> now Emily's 21 she was a six month nine month old baby so that makes this skirt 20 years old you know you can't buy quality eh it was a really quality great quality skirt and you know my sister I love her and she's just been so generous but we can't look at that we have to look at what the Lord's shown us she is an evil double down. An evil double down. So how are you going to cope when the Lord shows you these things? Look at that black. Look at that. And it's not easy. <clears throat> it's funny that this lady was from a dairy farm, right? Because it reminded me of a dream that my sister shared so before I went up the mountain, my sister rung me up and she said I had this dream. She said I had this dream. Who would tell me it? And I'd been to her house. She has a long gravel drive. She's She and her partner and the three adopted for life children are managing a dairy farm. They had to take the staff as they found them. One's an alcoholic. He's a liability. In her dream, she said, myself and her... We're walking down the gravel road. I've seen it. It's very hard to get up on a motorbike. And he'd been away for the week and he was arriving back drunk with some mates in the car. And it was dark and he hit, he hit me. She said, he hit me. And she said her mind went a miles an hour. And this is what she was thinking. I'm liable for this. It's a health and safety issue. It's a workplace issue. What do I do? Do I do the right thing by my sister? I was lying there with a broken leg. How's the chances of that? We're on the last leg. And uh, she saw him jump from the driver's seat into the back and replace the driver with somebody who was sober. So was she going to be a witness to the police? Was she even going to report it? I was lying on the road. Then she said she had another dream. She has a dog. She has a dog called Tui. And it's a vicious Labrador. It came to visit and it was sitting with her partner on the opposite side of the room from Peppa. One of the spicy dogs that Marty named. The one that looks like Toto from Wizard of Oz. 
and it walked across the room, nothing, nothing, to stimulate it to do this, and it put Peppa's head in its mouth and it pierced a hole in her chin and the top of her head. And they were casual about it and they just put the dog in the car. Well, in her dream, the postie turned up and the dog, Tui, attacked the postie woman. And the first thing she thought of was, oh no, because she's talked to her partner about that dog and it's a liability and that it might cost them some money one day. And in this dream, she thought about herself. She didn't think about her partner. The Lord's not pointing to her partner. She saw herself in the library, small town in Chicago, and they're both pissing right now. And she, she saw herself, oh my goodness, doing, the doing a registration. She registered the dog. That's what she thought about. I registered the dog. I'm liable to go to jail for this dog attack. How many people think like that? How many people think like that? You'd be surprised. What's in it for me? It's what's in it for me. The Lord knows your heart and he's telling his servants who you are. And we don't care if you're our blood relative because we believe God and not your lies. And I'm really shocked that I have a dream where my caravan is invaded by her and her three evil daughters or two, one, two sons and a girl. They're not right. I've met them. They're little liars. And they're mocking my things in the caravan. They are. And they're pulling up an ornamental orchid and then dropping it back down. And then I went, I was in a cruise ship on the waters looking back at this. What is that? I thought, what is that? I've been thinking, what the heck is that? What is she doing in my space? When she's done what she's done in my life, why would I have her in my space? Wearing a red jacket, trying to be me. It's because everyone else in my family's gone too. There isn't any next to kin. I'm going to pull these dreams together, just like I've told you who the angels are. And when I say, you won't believe who Billy Graham is, the Lord gives me a witness. Turkey. Oh no no, I will survive. And they did the switcheroo. We're the ones that walk out the door. We're the bad guys. They are the heroes. Aren't these gorgeous puppies? I didn't see no puppies there. I don't know what the Lord would do to the puppies. I know that there are animals in heaven. There are horses. There are horses. Isn't it gorgeous? It's the first time I've seen them play. Do you want it? You can carry on watching if you like. I can put all this up. Because it won't ever come back again. You never get this time again. It's like videoing your children. Look at No Bro. She's attacking two socks. And this is a sweeter. Hello, Tribute. You do sweeter. She's quiet. She can run. Hey, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's that? And she plays. Get the bunny. Get the bunny. Oh, I know what I'm going to get. Can you feel it coming in the air tonight? It's Phil Collins' drummer. He's got a banana in his hand. The Lord sees you. He's eating a banana and he's watching us right now. He's watching over you. Didn't you know that? He's watching over you. Look, Tribute's going to go get the gorilla. See, I told you. She's discerning. Get that gorilla. It's a Cadbury chocolate ad. Yeah, a glass and a half of Cadbury purple chocolate. Get him, get him. They did the switcheroo, didn't they? It's the Cadbury, Cadbury chain. The crunchy gold ad. Mm, look at that. It's no accidents or mistakes that I had a gorilla. 
And that is an amazing ad. And it's a female. Look at it, it's a female. Get it, get it. We see the gorilla. I googled, because Jesus said to me, I'm eating a banana. That's a strange thing to say. So I googled it. And they've got mockery. They've got pictures of Jesus eating a banana in jail. Ones of him bleeding in jail. It's mockery. The things they know. But you just have to realise that the Lord God knew first. You know, I've always wanted a puppy just like Glory. And that little tribute is. Look at her feet. She's got four feet shod with the gospel of peace for the harvest. And she's the sign of the end times and the latter rain. It's latter days. It's the latter days. We've started. We started at Christmas. It's all on now. We ain't looking at much more than three years. I know it's subtle. You can't see it. But you know where the tetangata, tetangata, tetangata is right now. It's more than round the corner. It's actually looking over at the city. So you can't see the bear from the woods yet? You can't see what's happened? To the warp speed rolled out? The warp speed rolled out? Doesn't really make a lot of sense now, does it? Doesn't make a, a lot of sense. He must be all having a dilemma. So I just want to clarify things. You just have to remember what Jesus said. Just come back to your senses, come back to a sound mind, go on the rock, repent, come back to the place where you were, come back to the Lord, come back to your first love. Oh, look. Yeah. Come back to your first love. Yeah. And who cares what, what I leave behind, eh? Who cares? Do you care? The only thing I care about is souls. And that's the only thing that the Lord really cares about. It's called gold. Souls is gold. Billy Graham doesn't care about souls. $25 million. And a whole lot of converts in the, Christ, in the Catholic Church. He sold out. He sold you all out. And you all fell for it. But just be careful how you do it, because <sighs> Benny Hinn's going to be okay. He's going to be okay. And so is Rick Joyner. And I don't know anyone else that they'd call the hero of the faith. I just know about them. Seek the Lord on these things. Make no assumptions. This is their only real act of time. It's only once a day. You're getting this. This is gold. This is gold. I'm going to sleep because I'm falling asleep like an old man. Not to criticise old men. And I never do that because I've really been working hard to try and get this message out to you. And I do it out of love. I really do. And I know I swear. But only because the Lord had me swearing. And those that think, well, she can't be from God because she swears. Well, you know, go and have a look at what the message is. The door. The Charlotte. Is it a simple? It's a simple. It's all about swearing. That's why they swear. That's why they swear. So, how can we expose them without using those words? I don't know. It's Jesus' reasoning. I never questioned it, I just did it. I know, I know it says not to use bad words. Jesus must have been sinning. Oh no, no he wasn't, he was just telling you the truth, wasn't he Two Socks? Yes, we know about the birds and the bees. We know about the birds. Strike, did you see the t-shirt? Strike, her tongue at her. I know who that person is. I know who that person is, and Utu is the vengeance, and whose vengeance is it? It's God's, and it's those days now, we're in those days. I don't want to be a recipient of it, I want to be close to the Lord. 
I want to be on his side. I'm on his team. You know, finally, we've got this battle. Yeah, and then we can just get the hell out of here, guys. All we've got to do is let the Lord use us as vessels. He will transform us like that ute. And it's quite cute to think someone's going to disappear and have a look through my caravan. That'll be quite funny, won't it? <laughs> Just imagine you, a disappearing act. How would they explain it? How will they explain it? They'll explain it away. But the people that know you, that love you, will know. Everyone that's watched this channel will know. And, I, and I, if I'm watching a channel and suddenly it disappears, I'll know. I'm going to know. Of course I'm going to know. I know whose heart's towards the Lord. And so do you. And you know I am. You know. You know. Look at the bunny. Aren't they gorgeous? I really feel sorry for people who aren't dog people. <laughs> dog is God spelt backwards. And Jonathan Fleck got a card with him and dog. And he's got his arm around his dog. And it was really sweet, and I saw it, and it's gorgeous. There's a reason why they are man's best friend. And I happen to have the ones that have come to bed. That they tried to exterminate, exterminate. Oh, no, I shouldn't say that word around you. They did, they tried to exterminate them. Oh, don't be mad at me. I'm not going to be mean to them. I was being sorry. Hey, it's okay. Uh oh. Hmm. See that wee dog there? It's a roly dog. That's the sort of dog my sister wanted. Then my next door neighbour got one. And they look really cute. They've got baggy skin. Called roly dogs. There's an ad with a roly dog was the advertisement for the toilet paper. Actually, I wonder if I've got a roly dog. Nothing I have here. Is not a word from the Lord. Wouldn't it be good if I had toilet paper that was a rolly dog? <coughs> there we go. See? There's your rolly dog. It's a sign. Who used all the toilet paper? Obama for his box. 74 pages it was. It's a running joke. Well, we caught you out. Because the Lord showed me David Seymour holding a roll of toilet paper. He's the reason for the shortage. Just remember, it's all about that. It's all about toilet paper. Because the Lord showed me that Obama, his throne is a shithole. Do you think the Lord would show someone that? Yes, of course he would. It's a picture. And his wife, Where's a dress that looks like a toilet? You can Google it. <laughs> you can have this shithole because the Lord's got another plan and they're not invited. So choose your allegiances. The Lord showed me that most people have already. But on the highways and the byways, there's a harvest. Keep your ear to the ground, listen to the Lord. Bring in your harvest and go home and collect your reward for eternity. There's seven of them. I'm only offering one, and that's to eat from the tree of life. Not the one that Billy's talking about. The one he ate from. The tree of life. I'm, I'm talking about the one that Rick Joyner ate from. And there's lots of other rewards. Have a look at those churches and just decide what you want to do. Because it, he's made it pretty clear who he is. You just didn't follow. You didn't hear. Your heart's right. He will open up your eyes and heart. He will. See, that's it. Now they've crashed. And look, two socks has decided to crash. I mean, four socks has decided to crash on Gorilla. What's the chances of that? More than a conqueror. Ugh! Do you know what they beat, why they beat their chest? Uh. <clears throat> you know why? King Kong? Hmm? Eiffel Tower? 
what are they pointing to? The Lord was there first, guys. If you're in New York and you're in trouble, just please let them know about that movie. It's two romantic movies. There's hope in the first one. Sleep was in Seattle. The Lord was there before they did the towers. Valentine's Day, he left his heart. And then he showed me. He showed me. He showed me America and he showed the, me the stars going up. At the same time, as um, Satan had his date with 2020. Because there's hope. He's not going to abandon you in America. Just get, make sure your heart's right. I know, you know, it's 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 really, it's Nineveh. It's, it's going to be destroyed. But you're going to go home. You just need to, to spend this time with him. You know? I mean, I got, he cleaned me up in less than a month or two. I knew I was going. I had a dream. I've got time. I remember sharing it after my sister shared me her dream. And I said to her, I knew what it was. She chose herself over me twice. But, um, yeah, I had a dream. It was in Dunedin, in the octagon. My whole family was here. I actually have five. I'm a stepmother to Marty's two children. Five children, me and Marty, in a house. We had a rebuild, but we decided that it was really good to have a, a house on commercial land, land. It was like an apartment. High rates. Good money it was worth. The Lord told me it wasn't a home. Anyway, we're living in this house and there's an earthquake. The sirens go, I know what it's like. I've been through earthquakes. <clears throat> Look, factions come up. Everyone evacuates, evacuates. We're all standing inside of the house. It's like an alley. We can hear the sirens. We're looking back at the house. It's almost in like a um, a hole, really. And I go, I go back in because I forgot something. And I know the layout of the house. It's like an old flat I had when I was a student. And I'm down in the laundry looking out the window. It's a high window. And I can see my family looking back at me. Then there's another shake. And I go down into the centre of the earth. You know, like to hell almost. My family are looking at me, and in their eyes, the Lord has shown me, they're saying in their mind that I can go to hell. And then I left, and they all said goodbye to me, and in their eyes, I might as well go to hell. And that's just the dream, and I shared it with my husband before I knew anything was going to happen. But he still can't see it. <clears throat> and he can't see his dream where he's in a maze. His ex-wife gives him a bitter lolly for sweet. Then he realises it, throws it against a wall, and I've already run off. And he catches up with me. And then we come to a door. That could be the door that Clex showed you. Or it could be the door um, that the angel Sardis talks about. So dreams are really from God. And they bring hope. And I'm just testifying. So it does say that is the end time sign. There's not really much else you're going to get, is there? It's like days. It's like Jonah, really, isn't it? What else do you expect? You can hear his voice. You can hear him even when you're sleeping. <laughs> so it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from him. Oh. Let's finish with a song, shall we? Come on. Hello. Let's finish with a song. <clears throat> we don't want to finish on a bad note, a poor note, Billy Graham note. Go oh, away. Go away. Here we go. Target acne with epiology and stop spots. Clinically proven to naturally... Do you want 
dance. It's goodbye. Well, how's that? It's goodbye. the cookies. How's that? Now that I've found where we're at, it's goodbye. Well, how's that? Do you think they believe us? Oh, look at that. Do you think? I'm talking to the dogs. Oh, that's a pity. Because I saw the next one up was Robin Gibb. Oops. And I just do that. Would you stop that? Yellow, I can hear you. I haven't got my glasses on. Look, there's a few songs to do with joke, isn't there? Quite a few songs. Because <clears throat> you know it's all about the Joker, don't you? The Joker and the Thief, and guess who that is? Can't really turn Bob Dylan up. Joke's on you. Mm. Moving on. Right, I've got to get my glasses. Oh, that was a bit naughty. I should have done it properly. What's this? Oh, one repugnance. Okay. The joke's on you. Charlotte Lawrence. Mmm, Charlotte. That could be interesting. Because you know that they are saying the joke's on you. There goes Charlotte there. Yeah. Should we see what Charlotte's got to say? Yeah. Because. What did they say about Charlotte? So now I want you to tell me that the Lord God is not the Pied Piper. And this doesn't say birds of prey. And her name's not Charlotte. Because the keys were Charlotte, remember? Does it make you angry, a righteous anger, or does it just, oh yeah. 
who cares? I just can't understand because I know how the Lord feels about it all. Well, he wouldn't be showing me. I'm going to run out of time, but I did want to show you this kind of, it's my testimony song. It's called The Bee Gees. It's I Started. I Started a Joke. Are incredible value. Seven. You know, I remember hearing this song in the bath. It was in the bath that the Lord told me to resign from my job. Have a listen. Awesome recipes, all made with fresh dough, vine ripened tomato sauce, and topped with stretchy, tastier mozzarella. Try our five dollar pizzas today at Domino's. We know what Domino's is, don't you? Turn this one up. I'm starting to joke. I hope that's a joke, but if Click thinks that 